Hey guys, welcome to uh, a quick tutorial for the people of the Junkyard server. Um, we've installed a new plugin on the server called Voxel Chat, and essentially what that allows is uh, for you to get people's chat in speech bubbles on the screen. Um, so I thought it does require a client mod, so we thought that we'd do a quick tutorial for you guys showing you how to install it. It's really straightforward. Um, but yeah, we thought we'd do a video just to show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I've got a, a brand new fresh jar file. I don't have any mods installed. I've just got my texture pack, essentially. But I'm going to jump on the uh, the Junkyard server here. And I'm just going to show you that pretty much everything's normal. Nothing's uh, out of the ordinary, so to speak. And I can't get back up there. But yeah, everything is normal. Nothing to see, basically. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect. The download link for the uh, Voxel mod pack is in the description below. Uh, the download links, when you go to that page, the download link is right at the bottom. We need version 8, which is one, Minecraft 1.1. And once you've downloaded that, you'll end up with this, the Voxel mod pack version 8.0.zip. Um, you just need to uh, extract that to your desktop. There should be a bunch of files in there, but thankfully it's um, it's an installer. There's no class files or anything that you need to mess around with. You just need to run the modpack installer for Windows. There is a jar file there as well for you Mac users. So, <laughs> we've got some funky music. Let me turn that down. If you've got a Macintosh, you can run this jar file instead to accomplish the same thing. Um, when you run that, you'll get the installation screen up. Um, you shouldn't really need to change anything. There is a set target Minecraft folder button here. That is only for people who install Minecraft in a non-default location. So 99% of you can ignore that and just hit the next button. The next screen is going to give you a list of the mods that, that uh, this basically includes. There's, if you want... Um, the chat bubbles, the only real one that you need is the number three, the voxel player. I'm going to install them all, there's a bunch of cool things there, there's, um, it comes with improved chat mod, um, mini maps, uh, it comes with some built in texture packs which you may or may not like, you know, you can experiment with them, but I'm going to install them all for now. But if you just want the chat bubbles, all you need to do is tick option three, you can untick the rest of them. And it'll take just a second to install. But it's pretty straightforward, and it's done. So let's uh, let's jump back on the server, and let's see what's happening. Now, the mod, like I say, it comes with a lot of features, some of which you may or may not like, <laughs> but you don't have to use them at the end of the day. Uh, okay, so the first thing you'll notice is top right we've got a mini map, which is pretty awesome. You'll also see player names in front of me here, and it shows you their distance from you, which is awesome. Let's go to spawn. Even shows you... Oh, that guy just disappeared. But it even shows you what they're saying. But I love the uh, the distance. Like it says, like Junkyard's right there. It says that he's 29 meters from me. Where's he going? Let's see if he notices me now. <laughs> what is he up to? Like he's oblivious. Oblivious. Oh. Oh, there's iPi. Officer iPi with his butter boots. Hopefully he'll say something. There you go. He said hey. And it pops up in the speech bubble above the head, which I think is so cool. Laws are laws. <laughs> oh, iPi. But yeah, th those are just some of the features. There's loads more. Uh, one of the things it does as well is it allows you to change te texture packs from within the game. And you can just... It comes with like four um, pre-built texture packs. They're a little bit uh, goofy. Like a little bit crazy for my liking. But some of you guys might like them. So you can go ahead and check those out. But for the most part... I like my Faithful 32. But, I mean, the main point of this mod is the chat bubbles. That's why we've put it on the server. The other things are just a bonus, like the player distance, the mini-map. But, that's pretty much it, guys. It's really easy to install. Um, it's best if you start off with a fresh jar file. I don't know how it'll react if you have mods installed already. Um, 
but it, it's got pretty much everything you'll want. It's got the improved chat mod already installed. It's got the mini-map, texture packs, the speech bubbles, the player distance. Um, and, I mean, what more do you want? It's pretty much got it all. It does even have, um, although you guys can't use it, it does even have a fly mod built in as well. As you can see me demonstrating here. And I'm lagging a little bit with fraps. I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, I think I'll leave this video there. Really quick, easy tutorial. You guys try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I think it'll be a pretty fun mod to have on the server. See you next time, guys. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Nearly forgot. There's um, there's two menus here, which I thought I'd go over really quickly, just so, uh, just so you know what they are. F6 brings up this menu here where you can control, you can change the brightness, you can turn the weather off, If you, I know some of you guys hate the rain so you can turn that off there, you can change the fog settings, um, yeah, this, do not use this, I mean it's not included in this version but this is an x-ray thing, as you all guys all know we do not allow x-raying, you can also bind keys, um, you can, you guys can have a mess around with that. So that's the F6 menu, but there's also an F9 menu, um, where you can, uh, you can hide people's names. You can turn off the distance thing if you don't want it. You can see iPi's distance changing in the background there. You can have color names. I think that depends, um, on the server settings. We'll have to have a look at that. And you can turn the chat bubbles on and off and how many seconds they stay on the screen for. Um, and one last thing, you can change their name size. So you can make it huge or tiny. So tiny we can't even see it. Um, and you can change the bubble size as well. So I thought I'd, I'd just quickly cover that. Um, you can also change the distance. After 64 blocks, you won't be able to see the player's name. But you could change that in there to 32 or 128, you know, whatever you, whatever you want, really. Um, there's Mark. <laughs> or Jardo, as you guys know him. I'll show the name. See, if I ch put the name size all the way down to minimum, it basically makes it invisible. I put his name there. Yeah, I think that's a decent size. And the bubble sizes, uh, you can experiment with those. But that's the F6 and the F9 menu, guys. So you might want to have a look at those and configure the options to, uh, you know, whatever settings you guys like. Um, yeah, so I nearly forgot those important features. <laughs> but um, that's it, guys. See you soon.